Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are doing an Apex Legends weapon tier list. Thought I should do one of these because, and keep in mind, this is my opinion, okay? A lot of the, like, a lot of the more pro weapons in it, um, might not be ranked as high. Just letting you know. Alright, and this is... This is right before Season 9, alright? I'm not kidding. Season 9 release in three days. Like, that day is going to be awesome, because it's May the 4th. So, this is literally it. We're getting Star Wars The Bad Batch. I don't have Taekwondo that night. Um, yeah, I do Taekwondo. I punch people. Anyway, and we're getting Star Wars The Bad Batch. I got that night off. And, I... And we're getting Apex One Season 9. It's like there's so much to do that night. We're getting arenas and Valk and everything. Anyway, so what? where is a good place to start? I went ahead and loaded up Apex Legends. Because I wanted the, um, to have this up here. Anyway, we're going to slide on down here. And you know what? I... Guess let's start off right here with the P2020. Now, alright. So. This thing, honestly, by itself, I don't think it's that good. I will pick it up sometimes if I find it. Because it is pretty good. Like, if you can get, like, ex extended mag. And, yeah. But. It's not that good, like I said. Like, it takes a lot, and you have to hit your shots. Otherwise, you're screwed with this thing. On the other hand, though, it has hammer point. So, hang on, let me just crack you real quick. So, hang on. Basically, alright, you saw how, alright, so hang on. this off it took 14 bullets to kill this man so basically this allows you to do more damage to the flesh so once shield is cracked just gonna do that one more time so see look so all of a sudden you do a lot more damage. See, I got that done much quicker. So we go back. So where is the P2020? Semi-automatic. Anyway. Um honestly, I think it'd be B tier. Mm, that is hard though. Cause it's not quite like Juicy, smooth, nice gameplay weapon. But at the same time, it isn't really, like, bad. Like, it's basically decent, I'd say. These are, like, the trashy weapons, but at least they're usable. These are, like, don't, just don't use them. I would say it goes in B. What do we have? Okay, you know what, I'm just going to get these out. I mean, hang on. Let's just get the care package weapons out of the way real quick. Because it should be pretty obvious. So, you might not all agree with me here. First off, capper. Alright, I need to get better with this. Part of the time is you don't really have much play time with this thing. Because you can only get it out of the care package. So, honestly, for the capper, I would put it top of A tier. I know some of you are like, well, it's a care package weapon, so obviously S tier. Agreed. If you are a good sniper person, then good for you. But I'm not super good with that. Okay. Now that we got that out of the way, and I'm going to get 800 comments yelling at me. Moving on to the peacekeeper. 
I don't know how to put this thing other than charge up, crap ton of damage. It's gonna be ground loot next season, which, like, may God help us all. And yeah. All you do is have sights on this thing. That's it. Like, and even then, the iron sights are, like, pretty good. Like, this thing is just a beast. So, yeah. This is definitely S tier. Easily. Next up, the Proud. Now, not a lot of people agree with others on the Proud, especially because it is no longer um, automatic. It's burst. But honestly, if you spam the trigger, like, I don't, you don't really see the difference. Plus, I mean, it's just so much damage. One time I got this, I mur murdered the final squad. Oops, my teammates were dead. Well, they weren't dead. They were downed. I was trying to revive them. Murdered the final squad all by myself. Just because I was in a building. This thing's good at close range. Had digital threats. It's a bangle that kept popping smoke. And yeah, this thing just can kill so quickly. So... It is probably, but like I a lot of people don't do, agree with me here, but it's an a, S tier. It is good. Okay. What are some other quick and easy ones? Oh, uh, okay. Okay, let's just get the L star out of the way here. The L star. How do I put this one? L star in a nutshell, trash. All right, hang on. And before you go in the comments and start, well, I made the L star. I want you to look on your account. How many kills do you have with the L star? Just a, when you tell me that, then you can leave a comment on this video saying the L, L star is good. And I don't care if I somehow got a legendary skin. It's trash. I mean, even if you have Rampart. Yep, sorry. We all need a bathroom break. It overheats way too quickly. Alright? It is inaccurate as heck. It's the only useful way to use it. Who's gonna use it? The only thing it has going for it is it's a good close range weapon. But even then, I mean, hang on, let me just show you. Alright? We're gonna compare the kill time of an L star versus like, what no, Mozambique, see? The Mozambique's gonna have a higher kill time than this thing. Literally, look at this. Look at the Mozambique. Okay, so now you make me look like an idiot, Mozambique. Well, y'all know you're already trash. Even the Nerf Mastiff, I mean, look at this. That was like a couple seconds. Plus, who who is ever gonna just stand still? Plus, who is ever? I mean, half the time you see people snipe trying to snipe with mastiffs. It's just a bad gun. So for that, if I can ever find it again. I don't know if really any gun that deserves D tier, but because I would put it in D tier, but the only thing it has going for it is the fact that it's um, the fact that it has good close range, de not good, decent, decent close range kill time. Only thing it has going for it. What do we got next? You know what? Let's just do the Mozambique while we got it here. The Mozambique here. I don't, can't really talk too much trash about it. 
Oh my gosh, she's calling. Hang on. Sorry about that. All right, so Mozambique, look at this. Just short of killing someone. Early game, in locked and loaded, it was overpowered because you all dropped white shields, and white shields this thing can kill in four shots. However, once again, you get hammer point, and then all of a sudden it's a new world of hurt. Because in one mag, it can down someone with a purple shield. But also, it's very hard to use because it only has three shots. And once again, I feel like it just falls to the same dumb trick that the... Oh my gosh, if I'm ever going to get off these targets... It ends up falling to the same thing that the L Star falls to. Well, yes, it's a shotgun. It doesn't have. Okay, take that back. It is decent at range. Like, came here to talk trash on this thing, but it doesn't do as much damage. Still, okay, take back everything I said. Mozambique is decent. Next season, though, with six shots, this thing. It's going to be smoke and kills. But, I don't know. Where should I put this? It isn't... It isn't L-Star bad, but it isn't P2020 good as... I th good, I think. But, eh, I'll put it there. Because there's no way it's L-Star bad. Okay, what are we moving on to next? It's another pretty trashy weapon. Okay, longbow. Let's do the longbow. Because I know there are people who think it is the best sniper. Oh my gosh, I hit the wrong thing. I did tab. Clean out my inventory real quick. Alright, and I'll give you them one thing. It is the most moddable sniper in this game. Like, I'm talking, you can go from, like, this stupid little... This thing used to be good, but it isn't just... It gets outclassed by every other sniper, maybe, besides... I don't know, Charger Rifle is pretty decent. But even then, it just outclassed. One of the biggest... It, but it does have a few things going for it. First off, it has Skull Piercer. Which, we're going to take this off. And, okay. 110 from a headshot. Okay, we need to redo that. So it's 110 from a headshot. 38, which is a two shot. But even then, you have to be popping heads while people are going, my sweaty little ray fans are going, <laughs> Phase, phase, shoot you. I am up close. And half the time in this game, all the sweaty players, like, you just don't use this. It's just not good. The only other thing it has going for is the fact is the only sniper in the game where you can use barrel mods. I'm just going to equip this real quick. Is there anything else? What's your stock? Okay, nothing that reduces aim, okay. Look how inaccurate this thing is. What is this? Why would anyone use this gun? Put that on my gun. 
All right. And look, okay, I'm lined up with his head. That kills him. Ready? Even then, it hits like one out of five shots. What? Who would use this gun? Okay, you know what? Here. Oh, you mean, oh crap, I meant to put that on the gun once again. Let's see? Directly with the head. Ready? What is this gun? Who would use this? Out of like, what was that? Out of 12 shots, I didn't hit a single one. Wait, I'll do that one more time. No, this is lined up. Not moving at all. Right on the head, ready? One hit. One out of 12 shots, and this thing is fully modded. No one's gonna use this. It is trash. I think I've proven my point. Where is the longbow? So I can just give it a sad, miserable death. I mean, it's not as bad as the L-Star, but it's bad. And I think a lot of people... Okay, charge rifle. Honestly, the only sniper that could be on par with it. I'm going to drop this. First off, it has two things you can put on it. A scope. Like, okay, sniper, I get it. You can put a scope on. Nice. And you can put on a stock. That's it. No extended mags. Nothing. What? Who is going to use this? Like, I'm pretty sure there's, like, people that just run around with this on it. Because that's the only thing it's good for. It's like... The only thing it has is for noobs it's pretty good because you can just be like spamming and oh hey but even then three damage who is going to use three damage unless you get them with that power shot it doesn't do crap and it takes two ammo And you can't abort the shot. And it has such a long reload. Like, I just don't know with this thing. I mean, like, it's just, I don't know where, if it should be better or worse than a longbow. They're both trash. The only thing I think it got going for it is the fact it can be used as a closer range weapon. Even then, they're both trash. Just don't judge anything in here, okay? They're all trash. Sentinel! Okay, let's do that next. Just get through all the snipers. The sent. Wait, where is the sentinel? Right here. I'm not gonna judge it. So, it, next season, I do think it's going to be a lot better. I'm not judging it for that, though. I mean, it has decent damage. It's definitely better than Longbow. Okay. It has access to extended sniper mags, thank gosh. has access to that, and it has access. So, it's your basic sniper rifle. It's basically the same thing as a triple take. Except a little bit worse. Now, next season, I do believe this will be a lot better with its new hop-up. Once again, just who is going to use this? Because at least the charge rifle here. One of the reasons I put it above it, because, look. At least it's consistent and accurate. 
Once again, this thing falls in the same category of the logbook. At least, but at least it does damage. Now let me grab some shield cells. Because for some reason, you can use your heals and charge this thing, which I think is bogus. Not the charging, I think it's smart, I think it's cool. But it depletes over time, like it should just keep until you use it. Don't get me wrong, the damage buff is insane. But it depletes, like why? First off, it's two shield cells, which is already two of your heals gone away. The fact it goes away, like, I get the concept, but it, it just respawn, why? but I do think it is a little bit more accurate. So, all right. Anyway. This is hard. Very, very hard. I don't want to put it up there because the capper's in there, but we're just going to ignore that these weapons are here. Okay, just ignore them. All right, that's just what I think of them. But anyway. The Sentinel, honestly, is because it does have weaknesses, but at least it, but debating between, honestly, I think low A tier, like the lowest of A tier, I'm thinking. Wait, all right, let's do the triple take next. Just knock out all the snipers. Now, the triple take, this is the redeeming, the redemption of all snipers. If it wasn't for the triple take, all snipers would be bad. There'd be no point of using snipers. Because they just be, well, trash. The triple take is the saving grace of them. Because, so, first off, precision choke. This thing is awesome. You can be a sweat, use it like a freaking shotgun. Alright. It can be used as a sniper, dealing tons of damage. Like, if that right there was like, hang on. And unlike the Sentinel, which is better, A. Eh? All right, and let's pull out the longbow. I need to go pierce it real quick. So, all right. 138. <laughs> 138. This thing is just as good as a freaking longbow with scope piercer, which I just think is sad. Because skull piercers are supposed to make weapons good. You, you have the triple take here. But I don't really like... It's going to be going into the care package, which I think is kind of dumb. Because we already have a sniper in the care package. We don't need two snipers in the care package. Which, don't get me wrong, I can't wait to try out the Peacekeeper. Because I never got to you try it out while it was ground loot. And also, this thing's just very good, because you can engage it just about... I mean, I don't... I personally don't use it as well to close range, but... As as well, as much in close range, but... It is... It is probably solid S tier. It's just a good gun all around, because it's just usable. Which, I think, a bunch of weapons... Um, and... <clears throat> Charge Rifle, um, L-Star, just don't really have that rounded shape. So, yes, it might not be the best at its role at being a medium-range weapon. It might not be good at the R301, but it can be used as any type of weapon. It'll be decent, okay? Not only that, it's the, probably the best sniper, A, and, um, it's 
just also a very good medium range weapon. Anyway, enough of me blabbering on. What next? What shall be next? Speaking of the R301, let's just go ahead and knock out my two favorite assault. You know what? Let's just do heavy ammo now. So, but we're going to do the Hemlock and the 3030 at the same time. Because they both kind of fall into the marksman category. So, 3030. Whoopie dee, did I love this thing. I would do the 3030 Eva combo. I didn't really use the 3030, but I'm like, it doesn't matter. It, it's good. Then when everyone just starts saying, well, the 3030 actually isn't really that good. And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, it really isn't as good as some people might say. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not like L-Star bad, but it's not the best. But the, and the Hemlock, on the other hand, once again, um, I, it's just a weapon I don't use that much. But the sweat, this is what they'll do. Switch is single. So it's a very high skill ceiling weapon. That I probably should use more often. But honestly, another big thing, I never really see the hemlock, like, at all. Like, I never really see it. By then, I already have another, like, medium range weapon or medium to long range weapon I'm like you know I don't need to have a lock like I got like a triple take but it does have a very high skill ceiling on the other hand the 3030 yes it can charge up but who the heck is going to charge up a sniper when you're peeking out from behind cover getting your booty shot up doing 42 damage like Like, you, you, just no one's going to use this. Plus, like, when do you really ever have a site for it? Usually, this is what you're doing. I mean, who is ever going to win with this? Usually, you use charge shot, like, once. Which I feel like it just kind of ripped off the, the, whatever it is, the um, Peacekeeper. I mean, at least the Hemlock, I think, can be used. Even though I just don't really use it. Which is why I can't give it super high ranking. I will... I do use the P2020 sometimes, so I'll put it right here. I think that is... Good placing. On the other hand, the where is it? Thirty thirty. We saw it earlier. Thirty thirty. On the other hand, the thirty thirty. I don't think it's really even better than the charge rifle, to be honest. I mean, it's better than the longbow because the longbow is not real hard to beat. Just the whole fact the charging does a hundred, and you don't even have to hit a headshot. I'm pretty sure. Hang on, let me test that real quick. 30 30, um, what? Let's just test this real quick. 57, so it's 100 if you hit a headshot. But that's without a hop up, is the thing. In order to do 138, you have to have Skull Piercer, which, in reality, how much of the time do you find a hop-up? Not as much. So, I think the 3030 is nice right here. Because the Charge Rifle, with its accuracy, prob will probably be a 3030 any day. What's in Alright, let's do the other heavy weapons. Heavy ammo weapons. Let's grab a whole bunch more heavy ammo, and what do we got? So, Flatline. Ooh boy, have I been waiting for this one. First off, 
as an anvil receiver. But who the heck ever turns this thing? Ever turns this thing to semi-auto? Like you might as well just have a hemlock at that point. So no, no, I don't. Ca I'm not. I don't care that it has. Because at the end of the day, the flat line is the flat line of a good gun to me. It just has. What the heck is this? the heck is this? How come you just keep reloading, buddy? I think it does have a high skill ceiling, and if you're good with it... I do like it because it has a slowing effect, which... To get... I don't know if it's better. I honestly I need to see if it's better than the... Or three or one. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some light ammo. Okay, let's get what attachments do I have? Stock. Once again, pretty sure it's the same damage. Thirty-five flat. Oh. Some more damage flat, which I can get that. It's heavy ammo. I think the R301 is better, though. Just the whole fact, because it has access to barrel attachments, which slow the recoil of this thing so much. The flat line just doesn't have that. But it's still a solid gun, I'd say. And like I said, the R301, excellent kill time. So I don't know if everyone would rank this like I would. I gotta say, I'm putting them both in S tier. Because to me, they're both very, very good assault rifles. I do think the R301 probably is better, but at the same time, I have quite a bit of experience with the flat line, which I just do like the punch it has, because it will just one two on someone. Anyway, what's next? Well, let's get the final two pistols out of the way, shall we? So, we have the RE45. What do I say about this? Honestly, I'm not a hater of the RE305. Ahem, <clears throat> other people. I think it's actually pretty good. I mean, you, you get a purple mag, this thing rips. Because you can be running, sliding. It does decent damage, and yeah, but I don't think it is, like, it's not god level, but it's decent, I'd say. Good as the P2020? I don't know. I think it's better, probably. That's just me, because I use it a lot more than P2020, but honestly, any guns in this area, maybe besides Mozambique, because of lock and loaded, I don't really use. Sentinel I've used, and just about everything up here I've used. Of course, mine is the same, but it's trash, so we don't talk. We don't talk about the 3030. On the other hand, the wingman. First off, if you're a sweat with the wingman, I will come to your house and I will slap you. I won't actually come to your house and slap you, but like, why? First off. Two of the best, oh, did I forget to mention that the RE45, whoops, the RE45 has um, a hop-up that allows you to draw it super quickly. So yay, Just the quicker amount of time you can be like, oh no, I can't shoot. Well, guess what? I can't hit my shots either, so I just, I'm just going to melee them to 
Please dive. Thank you. Can you hit it? Let's go. Alright. So, the wingman. What the sweats use. Alright, if you are some mechanical genius, you're using this thing. You're popping heads. You don't care what everyone else cares. You can draw it super fast. Alright. You're good with it. You slide and just tear fools apart. I'm like this noob. And if you have skill piercer. You're whatever it is. You're... What am I doing? You're 90 damage headshots. All of a sudden... Oh, I just dropped that, now, didn't I? I'm an idiot. I'm just gonna reload this real quick, though. You're 90 damage headshot. All of a sudden, become 101, which for a pistol, that's pretty overpowered. So is this thing good? Yes. Do I use it that much? No, because it is not hit fire at all. It is very accurate, but you have to hit your shots. So for that, I think I'm gonna, you guys are gonna yell at me, I have to put an A tier. Cause it, for people, I believe it's an S tier weapon, but for me, it's not. Okay, and let me know if you want me to do like, a non-opinion based, like what I think these guns actually are for most of the Apex sweats. For all the sweat lords of the earth of Apex. The sweat lords of the Outlands. Okay, moving on. Um, just gotta get a sight. Let's just put this on here. We have the G7. Which actually Bangalore doesn't really use that much. This thing. People love it. I can see why. It is like the good version of the 3030. I thought this thing would be taken out of the picture when the 3030 came out, but let's just say 3030 trash. I believe this thing can be a tier. However, I just don't really use it that much. So for me, if I ever hit a shot, because you have to be able to down the sides of this thing. Anyway. G7, where is it? So, it is definitely A tier. However, for me... Oh, gosh, yeah, it definitely is A tier because I I only like it more than the, um, Wingman. So, I, I screwed the pooch on that one now, didn't I? Well, what do we got left? Got the R9. Let's... R do R9 alternator, okay. R99, aka the sweat gun, aka, I'm gonna go die now. This is what all the sweat, wraith, kunai knife, Naruto runners use, where all the sick quotes happen. And don't get me wrong, I can see it, but as soon as you take the barrel stabilizer and the stock off this thing, this is what the gun really is. Wait, what? Hang on, I didn't mean to do that. It is basically all of a sudden recoil hell. Excuse my language. It is recoil hell. Okay? Literally. I mean, there's one other gun here. Actually, two other guns that are worse. But this thing is up there. Like... People are like, oh yeah, this is what all everyone does in the sick clips. Well, that's because these guys always like. Okay, explain to me one thing. How many times have you seen someone use an R9 that does not have a um, barrel stabilizer on it? How many times? Exactly. Because the recoil on this thing is just so much. Plus, it eats through ammo. Anyway, I think I made my point. The alternator, aka the 
gun of Titanfall 2 because it was good in that game because people used it. This thing has a lot of recoil. Well, not as much as the R9, but it can have a lot of recoil. If I would ever get rid of the stock. However, comma. It is a lot more controllable. You don't see these a lot, but you can be scared because with the buff they got, the alternator is at least good. It is better than it was. But you're not going to be seeing a whole lot of this. I need to actually throw these in the ranks. So R9, I would probably put... Where would I put it? I'd put it... Like I said, I did like that more. Uh, ah, is it better or worse than the Hemlock? I'd say worse. You know, have flex on it, Mozambique. Just kidding. Mozambique is worse, probably, in my book. Anyway. Anyway. Oh, I also need to put the alternator up here. I do like the alternator, personally. It is just the fact it doesn't have a whole lot of recoil. Uh, where do I put it? I like it. I don't, I don't, I don't really like the placing of the Sentinel. I mean, I think it is definitely better than Sentinel. 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 <laughs> Shut up. Getting right out of the gutter, right? Better than the Sentinel because of the buff that got the season. If it didn't, it'd probably be down in C tier. Without a doubt. Yeah. We don't, we don't talk about it. Anyway. Moving on. What else do we got? Oh, we still got so many energy weapons. We have energy, shotgun, and the Spitfire. The Spitfire. The Spitfire. The spitter of the fire. What do I have to flex on the Spitfire? Mm -hmm. Love me an LMG. First off, it has 35, I think, I don't know, but with Rampart, may God help us all. By itself, may God help us all. With the Rampart, may God help us all a bit more, let's be honest. Um, yeah, this thing, after the one damage buff, <laughs> it is an absolute god killer. Like, this gun will just murder people. That one damage, that one damage turned it from one of the lowest tier guns to one of the most overpowered guns in the gosh darn game. Cause look, you can just spray and pray, cause who cares? Your Not ramp part, you got your ramped cover, you're aiming for the head, may God help the poor soul you're shooting at. This thing is just a god killer. <laughs> For that, just because of how... I don't think it deserves it. I hope Respawn nerfs it. Like, maybe the one damage should be given to Rampart just because of fact, like, her LMG speciality, but... It's a tier. It's, sorry, it's S tier for sure. But it, I don't really think... It deserves to be an S-tier weapon, but it is. <laughs> Just because of the whole fact of how overpowered it is. Anyway. I've cleaned up most of, like... Energy weapons. Just gonna grab a whole bunch of this. Screw grenades. You can have one! Dossing Oxstar! Dossing a friend! Also, it has a bunch of recoil. I think it's second place for recoil, heck. Um, what shall we use first? Well, might as well just show you the king of recoil. Mm -hmm. Love me an LMG. So.
the king of recoil. This thing should be, they should put this in the care package, not the, um, whatever it is. I get it'd be a nerf to rampart. I am hoping they'll put it to, during season 10, which I'm hoping we get the dragoon light LMG. I'm hoping this goes in the care package and the dragoon's the new LMG taking its place, which would be awesome because we could use the light ammo LMG. Plus, this thing wouldn't be here, which would be awesome. But anyway, you're like, oh, well, this, that isn't that bad. Gracie recoil? You don't know what recoil is, son. That is recoil right there. If you thought you knew what recoil is, this thing will chew you up and spit you out. You have to control it so much. And to make matters worse, it has turbocharger. Which, faster spin up, like it says. So this is it. If, you, if someone has a devotion and they find a, a turbocharger, you should just leave the game. Just leave the game. Because you are so screwed. But even with a purple barrel stabilizer, this thing still has so much recoil. For that, if I can ever find it, Devotion. Once again, like the Spitfire, I don't think it... There it is. Like the Spitfire, I don't think it deserves its title. However, comma, I do think it is better. It is, sorry, not better, worse than the Spitfire. It's because the Spitfire moves. This, it looks to be honest, it moves as well. I think this is probably B tier. Just so fact, because thankfully, it has charge up time. If it didn't have charge up time, we would all be crying in a little corner from devotions. <laughs> But yeah, it is a good weapon. Anyway, moving on to our two final murderous energy weapons. Zavolt, a.k.a. Zagood LMG. A.k.a. I don't know what else to call it. It's just good. I mean, there's not really too much said about it. Usually I run this with the Volt. But it can be used as a long range weapon, which I think this thing beats the R9. Because it's kill time. It got nerfed during, like, whatever it is, um, Chaos Theory. But even then, it still rips for anyone who knows how to use it. Plus, it supports such a quick reload time. So yeah, you're not beating this. This is just a good gun. Where do I put it? For a while, it was definitely top S tier. Like, no doubt. Because of the nerf, I've stopped playing it. And I think it's just going to be the gatekeeper, gatekeeper to A tier. I know, you're like, what the heck? But it is just such a good gun. Havoc! And this, I remember these three on here. So the triple takes right top right now, really. Actually, I probably actually want to flop that and put tr triple take like back here because I like my two assault rifles. They're good. The Havoc, the final murderous gun on this list. So, the Havoc. Not that good because you have to charge it up. Don't get me wrong, this thing can shred. Take a look at it with... This thing can shred. But it just doesn't have the ammo capacity at base state to do that. However, when you add turbocharger, 
much, even then, just look at the day. It becomes a literally better flatline in R301. No kidding. So I had to reload it there, but. Didn't, I had to use one cap. Plus it is crazy accurate. And he said that. Pretty accurate. Hit five. But yeah, it does just, unlike the other two guns on this base, it just isn't as good. So for that, I'm going to put it right here in front of the Sentinel. I can see it's supposed to be a very good marksman gun, and I can see where it's coming from. The charge up time just kills it, though. Moving on to the shotguns. Oh boy, do we have ourselves a treat. Oh boy, do we have ourselves a treat. Shotguns! Oh boy, do I love them. Eva, favorite shotgun. Even base with like just this. So good. I know you're like, honestly, I don't know if you all know, but I was never really on the Mastiff. Though. And now it's nerfed and people are switching to the Eva. And I'm like, you just now realize that. But yet, yeah, on the other hand, the Mastiff, if I can ever show this to you, last gun on our tier list. The Mastiff, on the other hand, is just shreds. I mean, I just never really used it. I mean, base, it just isn't as good as I think a base, base Eva. But maxed out, I do think it definitely is like maybe even better than the Eva. But how many times do you get it maxed out? Usually if you want to shock in with something you can rely on at the beginning of a game. So that's why I rank the Eva better. Honestly, because we don't count these two, they're just in the tier. I put that there, and I put this behind the bolt. All right, so let me know if you enjoyed my tier list. I think, I think you all did, but anyway, peace this one on out.